In this video, I'm going to discuss four really important things that you need to know before you decide whether or not to go out and buy the new Vortex Razor UHD binoculars. Or if like me and you already own a pair of the older Vortex Razor HD binoculars, should you go out and upgrade? And we're going to start right now. Hello and welcome to Best Binocular Reviews. My name is Jason. I make no secret of the fact that the Vortex Razor, and in particular the HD series, is one of my favorite ranges of binoculars of all time. Indeed, these 8x42 Vortex Razor HDs won the BBR Binocular of the Year Award way back in 2012. And I have now had these as my own personal pair for almost a decade, and still feel that this is one of the best binoculars that I've ever used. As well as this, I also use this Vortex Razor as a high-end benchmark in many of my tests and it is one of the pairs that all the others must aspire towards and it still remains one of my go-to instruments that I almost use on a daily basis. So I have to say, it brought a slight lump to my throat when I discovered that Vortex Optics were introducing the new Razor UHD models that would take the place of these trusty HDs as their flagship range. But I guess in a way it's testament to just how good these binoculars are that they've managed to survive at the top of the pile at Vortex Optics for so long, which incidentally has become to be known as one of the most respected and best manufacturers of binoculars in the world. So therefore it stands to reason that the new UHD binoculars have to be pretty special as they have a lot to live up to. My next thought was, should I be upgrading to the new Vortex Razor UHD binoculars or should I be sticking with these for just a little bit longer? So with this in mind, I have done a whole bunch of research, in fact I've even contacted Vortex Optics themselves, and I've compared the main specifications and features between the two models very very closely. So in this video, my aim is to go through what I believe are the four most important things to keep in mind if you are thinking about upgrading or getting the new Vortex Razor UHD binoculars. You know, how much better are they than this pair? Uh, and if they are better, is the extra money worth it? And then on top of that, which model should you be choosing for your specific needs and requirements? The first thing to know is that despite all the marketing hype surrounding the new Vortex Razor UHD binoculars, they are in many ways very similar to the older Razor HDs that now sits just below them in the company's hierarchy. And so this is most certainly a case of an incremental evolution of the series rather than a drastic change. Describing your binoculars as having HD or even UHD optics for that matter is basically just marketing jargon, as what it actually means varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. But basically it implies that as well as the standard high-end optical features like a fully multi-coated optical system and face-corrected roof prisms, the binoculars are generally considered to have ED glass in the lenses as well as dielectric rather than silver mirror-coated prisms. These Vortex Razor HDs have all of these as well as a bunch of other really impressive optical features. This includes hardened scratch resistant as well as water and oil phobic outer lens coatings. And on top of this, they also feature an aprochromatic or an APO lens design. And basically what this means is rather than the uh, two lens elements that you commonly find, these binoculars feature at least three within the, um, each of the objective lenses. And what this actually means is that when the individual wavelengths of light go through the lenses, they are better able to direct them and thus potentially decrease the amount of aberrations, which results in a higher quality, higher definition image. All of these optical features combined is extremely impressive. And for my money, these are a match for just about any other alpha level binocular currently on the market. Therefore, going from these Vortex HD binoculars to an even better UHD or ultra high definition pair of binoculars is gonna to be tough. But as the name implies, I assume that Vortex Optics have made some sort of improvement. However, they are very short on actual information about this and their descriptions lack any details. And so it is hard for me to comment much more on this. I have reached out to Vortex Optics to ask for more information. And to be fair, the support team got back to me almost immediately and passed on my request to the relevant departments. But as of yet, I haven't had a reply from them. So until I do, I can't really comment much more on this other than to say I do hope there's some sort of substance to this UHD optical system and it isn't just all marketing hype. 
when Vortex Optics do get back to me, I will update this video by leaving um, all the information down in the comment section or in the description down below. So please be sure to check it out. In terms of the main body, the materials used are generally the same, with both the HD and the Razer UHD using a magnesium alloy chassis under the rubber armor coating. The design and shape has been updated a little, but this is mostly cosmetic, as both sport the same single top hinge design, which Vertex Optics like to call a true open hinge design. Whatever the name you give it, the design frees up more of the barrels, giving you more area to grab onto, as well as decreasing overall weight. As you would expect, these binoculars are fully waterproof, as well as argon purged, which will prevent any internal lens fogging. The biggest and most noticeable difference between the new Vortex Razor UHD and the older HD is in the provided accessories. As you would expect at this price range, as well as the instrument itself, the box contains lens covers, a rain guard, a cleaning cloth, and an excellent quality well padded neck strap. However, on top of these typical accessories, you also get a binocular harness strap that can connect to the carry case. The result is that you now have a fully covered bino harness that is especially popular with people like hunters. On top of this, you also get a small ammo slash accessory pouch that you can either carry independently or it will attach to the front of the case if you prefer, which is another really nice feature. So let's say you've decided that the new Razer UHD is for you. The next step before buying is to choose which configuration to get. Whilst all the models within this series sport nice wide views within their respective magnification categories, the Vortex Razor UHD 8x42 binocular is the one that really stands out for me, as it has an extremely wide field of view. Measuring 420 feet wide at a distance of 1000 yards, it translates to a viewing angle of 8 degrees, placing them amongst the best wide angle binoculars on the market, which is great for most general wildlife uses, close range hunting in places like forests, and especially birding. For the wildlife observer or hunter operating in wide open spaces and over longer distances, there's most certainly a razor perfectly suited for your needs. The Vortex Razor UHD 12x50 binoculars will get you closer to the action with more detailed images and at the same time be still easy enough to maintain a reasonably steady view from the hands. On top of this, with their reasonably large 4.2mm exit pupil, they will perform at the same sort of level in low light as the 10 42 version. For those wanting even more power and greater image detail at very long ranges, then the Vortex Razor UHD 18x56 model will certainly have you covered. But just keep in mind, at these very high magnifications, any slight movement in your hands gets even more magnified and therefore makes it quite difficult to keep the image still. It is, it is therefore highly recommended that this model be used um, mounted onto a tripod and that way you can keep the image perfectly still. It is also for this reason that these binoculars are probably best used from a static location like a hide or at the shooting range where carrying around the extra gear as well as a slightly larger and heavier binocular will not be too much of an issue. Vortex Razor UHD binoculars have a manufactured recommended price that ranges from around $2,099 for the 8x42 right up to $2,449 for the 18x56 model. Current retail prices are much less than this, ranging from about $1,499 for the 8x42 up to about $1,699 for the 18x56 Razer UHD. When I checked, the 12x50 Razer cost about $1,599. Be sure to check the link down in the description below for the latest prices in your country. If you compare this to the Vortex Razor HD binoculars on the other hand, they currently range in price from about $979 for the 8x42 up to about $1099 for the 12x50. Once again, the link to where to buy and these prices will be in the description below. So we have seen just how closely matched the older HD and the newer UHD models really are. And I believe there will only be a very minor, if at all noticeable difference in optical performance. Therefore, if you're interested in the 8x42, the 10x42 or the 12x50 configurations, you could make a substantial saving by opting for the HD over the UHD model. 
But should you? Well, that depends. The HD razors are more lightweight than the UHDs, and the 42mm versions are a little bit more compact. However, the new 8x42 razor UHD has a much wider field of view than the equivalent HD model. Whilst the width of the views are similar, the minimum close focus distance and the eye relief on the new 12x50 UHD are excellent and far better than the older 12x50 version, which if you wear glasses, is definitely an important consideration to keep in mind. There is no doubt that the new Vortex Razor UHD binoculars are a fantastic instrument and definitely going to be a worthy successor to the older HD binoculars. But as to whether you should upgrade or stick with the pair that you have, or indeed should you choose the HD model over the UHD model when choosing your next instrument, well that will depend quite a lot on your personal circumstances, your budget, um, your main interests, as well as which configuration or which model you are most interested in. The new Vortex Razor UHD 8x42 binoculars, with their much wider field of view, look really incredible. This for me is really important, and I personally will be looking to upgrade in the near future. If you want a super high power, long range binocular, the Vortex Razor UHD 18x56 binocular is a no brainer. I also think that for most users, the new 12x50 UHD is generally better. For me, the 10x42 configuration on the other hand is a different story. The HD version has a wider view, similar eye relief and only loses out on the close focusing distance, which for most users won't be an issue at all. So if you consider that they are smaller and more lightweight, if I was looking to buy a top end 10x42 binocular, I would probably save myself a little money and opt for the HD instead of the UHD version. So there you have it. I personally plan on putting these old guys into retirement and upgrading. And rest assured, as soon as I do, I will fully test and review them for you guys. So please be sure to subscribe and remember to hit that little bell button on the side, just so that you'll be notified as soon as that video becomes available. Until then, I'd really like to get to know your thoughts and comments. Do you plan on upgrading or are you going to buy the new Vortex Razor UHD binoculars? Please feel free to comment down below. And lastly, if you did like this video, or if you found it useful, which I hope so, please, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that thumbs up button. This is something that really helps me and this channel to continue to grow and, and continue to provide you with more and more content in the future. So until then, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Cheers for now.